Good morning, guys. It's Ian from OSB FX. It is the 6th of December 2021. It's 8.36 in the morning in the UK. Uh, I want to talk about yen. I want to talk about CAD. Uh, I want to talk about all the sing single currencies, actually. Uh, we've seen a move lower uh, this morning in risk assets, uh, namely the Swiss franc and uh, the Japanese yen. And I'm just looking at that thinking, have I missed my trade setup in uh, sterling yen uh, that we've, we've been talking about in the group? But um, I didn't hit my levels, uh, so I'm sticking to my system uh, and I'm hoping when we're looking at the Canadian uh, dollar that there might be a, might be scope for a bit more of an upside move in the yen uh, to actually get us to our level. So I'm going to go to the charts. Uh, these are the single currency charts. So those that don't know, this is the monthly, weekly, daily, eight hour, four hour, and then the hourly. And we can see at the moment, this is dollar yen. This is a one hour chart. Let's just put the one hour charts on. So we're starting to move lower with the uh, risk on um, theme this morning. And here's uh, the Swiss franc and moving lower with risk on. And then the Japanese yen uh, moving lower with risk on. So let's go to the Japanese yen. Um, this was uh, the pattern uh, that we've been talking about. Uh, the dotted black line uh, and a blue line actually. So you've got double resistance there is bespoke resistance and you can see on Friday we just uh, moved up uh, and got very close to that level and then we've moved to the downside now um, we saw a high on the single currency chart of 94.39 and the resistance level was at 94.42 um, so pretty close and if we look to this chart here it also uh, looks to be forming a um, butterfly pattern so basically coming lower in this BC leg so not just got this four hour chart but also sort of got a target level uh, on the um, eight hour chart and if we go to this chart here and this is the hourly chart and I've only seen this this morning this is a, a butterfly no it's not it's a crab formation um, from Friday uh, close to uh, the resistance level so we are starting to move to the downside um, if we go to yen products so you can see here I've got all my different yen products and sterling yen uh, was the one that I was looking at so I've got a 161.8% extension let's just go to this chart here at 148.66 I've got my bespoke support levels you can see at 148.79 and 148.75 and we haven't made that low okay so I'm not in this trade at the moment and if we go to this chart here you can see that we've got a 261.8% extension level at 148.90 and it didn't make that either so I've, I've got to stick to the system those are my support levels what has happened is we've had this rally up on uh, yen weakness this morning but if I go back to my single currencies, what has a tendency to happen is when yen moves lower, you will get um, commodity currencies moving higher. So New Zealand dollar, we can see here, has attempted a rally. Uh, the Aussie dollar, uh, again, starting to move to the upside. And then the Canadian dollar uh, moving to the upside. And I think this one is the chart that's important because I've got resistance here and I've not only got resistance here I've got support here as well so on both sides of this coin if you like I can sell Canadian dollar here and I can buy Canadian dollar here now if Canadian dollar reverses and starts to come to the downside that could or should mean uh, that the Japanese yen uh, moves higher and will actually reach uh, the uh, resistance level I hope um, but it's too early to tell. But what I have got, I've got a potential to move lower in the Canadian dollar this morning. So when I go to my single currency charts, and again, I now want to be looking <clears throat> just at Canadian dollar. Um, the dollar CAD, I haven't really got anything, but selling Canadian dollar would mean buying dollar CAD. And this is my bespoke support at 127.15. So again, sort of looking at patterns, not saying this isn't going to work and um, the CAD needs to get to its resistance level which is not at yet but we could quite easily see this sort of formation while 
that Canadian dollar plays out. So selling uh, the Canadian dollar would mean buying dollar CAD, but it has to be down here. And then um, buying Canadian dollar would be, going back to that chart, selling dollar CAD up here. So what I'm really worried about or concerned of with and what I, I trade around are these black levels, so uh, the dotted black line. So I'd actually be looking at buying a dollar against the Canadian dollar if it gets down to that level when the Canadian dollar hits resistance. Um, Euro CAD, same sort of setup. Uh, 143.95 is the support level. Sterling CAD, I haven't got anything, but um, I mean, there's the potential for this leg to complete. Um, CAD Swiss, I've got resistance uh, located at 72.53. Uh, and if we go down to this chart, this is probably, sorry, the one hour chart. This is probably the one that I favor at the moment because 72.53 is near a 78.6% uh, pullback level. So basically what could happen here, and it's only my guesswork at the moment, is a move up to 72.26, then a small dip lower, and then completing uh, the Gartley formation. And that's really the patterns that we want to be trading is the completed patterns. So this is got my interest and even if we don't do that even if we go straight to 78.6 percent then we form another pattern anyway this pattern is like this so what would then happen is we'll be playing a different leg to the downside so the most important factor here is that we've got a resistance level um, at a 78.6% fib, it'll either complete a Gartley or uh, we could potentially move lower in a BC leg. Um, Kajen, and again, just put on the dotted line where resistance is, and that's at 89.32. Can make a pattern, but it's not very pleasant because basically trading the correction leg to the downside. Uh, New Zealand CAD, I don't have anything, and Aussie CAD, I don't have anything. So basically, going through the Canadian, uh, or the potential Canadian play, buying dollar CAD, buying Euro CAD, nothing in Sterling CAD, selling CAD Swiss, and then selling CAD Yen. Okay, guys, um, please feel free to join the Telegram group. Um, there's no charge. It's uh, just a chat group where we talk about different trade ideas using this system. Um, the link uh, to the Telegram group is at the end of the video. Okay, guys, good luck today. I'll speak to you soon. Many thanks.